Andy Wall song. Yeah. Uh, you know, when uh, I remember watching the video a few years ago and uh, uh, the official video for this song. At that time, it was more about uh, some kind of a decision where a button had to be clicked and possibly a nuclear missile launched and all. So it was um, possibly what this song is about. But when you listen to it, it's also about the consequence of war. Yeah. How children are killed, innocent are killed, a lot of uh, death, bloodshed, all kinds of things which are a result of war, all the harmful effects of war. But it's glamorized. It's definitely shown to you as if we are doing it for the sake of the country, the motherland, all kinds of uh, patriotic uh, slogans, chants, um, mottos, poems, wonderful stanzas created by the ones who want you to risk everything uh, while they are quite comfortable you know they they re when was the last time you really heard a president or a prime minister of a country going to war being uh, killed on the battlefield you know or close to the battlefield when was the last time literally you would really struggle to mention a name uh, yeah there have been assassinations even that hasn't happened much in the last uh, few decades so, uh, you know, the, these are the people who glamorize it, politicize it, make it like you're doing it for your country. Ask not what you can do for your country, but uh, ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what a wonderful twist of words by John F. Kennedy in his speech. Uh, literally, uh, you know, asking people to literally lay down their lives, all these leaders, Asking people to lay down their lives for their country, go to war where we all know which war hasn't caused bloodshed, which war hasn't killed innocent children, innocent elderly, the sick. The sick have nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. You know, they are bombed, bombed, bombed and shot and they really can't do anything. So there's a lot of uh, innocent lives at stake whenever there's a war. So this song, even though the video seems to focus mainly on a button and the button being pressed, at midnight here when you listen to the whole song like we did today without that video we actually realize it's much more deeper yeah. than that it's actually a great Andy Wall song you know I mean you think of Metallica you think of uh, songs of Metallica a couple of them Megadeth. which were anti war songs you think of Megadeth uh, definitely this song by I Made In is right up there but because of a video which completely takes away from the beauty of the insightful lyrics I would still say those songs of Megadeth and Metallica are better than this one. Mm -hmm. Because those don't take away from the charm. You know, even if you watch the video, mm -hmm. it's hard on, hitting hard on. Especially Metallica. That's the difference between Metallica and Iron Maiden, I would say. Mm -hmm. That they definitely stick to their to main topic. But whereas Iron Maiden, with such great lyrics and great vocals and amazing lead guitar playing in there. Still, when you drift away from the topic in your videos... Also, they were very creative with the videos and that, you know, also makes a mark in your uh, mind. Yeah, I remember it. But it, yeah, it becomes when you quite hear the song and, and all song these lyrics. is more effective yeah. and impactful. Uh, but Run to the Hills or anything, they got uh, the video Run making. Run to the Hills is a different Art thing, of video, video making also what they had or whoever was uh, doing it for them, they got it spot on because those things, uh, the imagery of it still remains with you even after years of you have seen it having seen it. Uh, so one thing is music, music and another thing was the art of uh, actually the visual effect that they would create. Um, uh, I, I definitely uh, understand what it is all about and you know I think it was about the Manhattan Project or something like that or the decision just before you know you wanted to press that button and the doom would happen. Uh, and uh, here uh, in the song they clearly lay it out. It's not about you need any reason. You don't even need a reason. You just want to do it because it's for you the golden goose or it's for you uh, the the thing that makes you very powerful and you just want to exercise that power uh, whether uh, uh, you know uh, unborn in the womb are going to die or whatever may happen that is not going to deter you it's as long as you're going to do this as long as you have this devious plan you want to just go ahead and do it and you know that's what happens around the world even today whenever they made this song that time also it was the same Previously also it was the same and even today it remains the same. We just never seem to find any solution to our problems. We most probably know what the solutions to our problems are. But we want quick fixes and we also want very uh, a shortcut to money. And every war is a shortcut to money for those who are you know on the other side. Of what it. are your thoughts on the vocals and the music? 
I like the vocals. I definitely uh, the vocals sh were shining here more than everything else. The music was just playing, but it was more about the vocals and the lyrics that they wanted to focus. And that's the reason why here, without the video, you actually get the impact of the lyrics over here. So it was more uh, concentrated on the vocals and the lyrics of it than the music as a well.